Alkane stereochemistry concerns the stereochemistry of alkanes. Alkane conformers are one of the subjects of alkane stereochemistry. Topic: <laughs> Conformation of alkane. Alkane conformers arise from rotation around sp3 hybridized carbon-carbon sigma bonds. The smallest alkane with such a chemical bond, ethane, exists as an infinite number of conformations with respect to rotation around the C-C bond. Two of these are recognized as energy minimum staggered conformation and energy maximum eclipsed conformation forms. The existence of specific conformations is due to hindered rotation around sigma bonds, although a role for hyperconjugation is proposed by a competing theory. The importance of energy minimum and energy maximum is seen by extension of these concepts to more complex molecules for which stable conformations may be predicted as minimum energy forms. The determination of stable conformations has also played a large role in the establishment of the concept of asymmetric induction and the ability to predict the stereochemistry of reactions controlled by steric effects. In the example of staggered ethane in Newman projection, a hydrogen atom on one carbon atom has a 60 degrees torsional angle or torsion angle with respect to the nearest hydrogen atom on the other carbon so that steric hindrance is minimized. The staggered conformation is more stable by 12.5 kJ per mole than the eclipsed conformation, which is the energy maximum for ethane. In the eclipsed conformation the torsional angle is minimized. In butane, the two staggered conformations are no longer equivalent and represent two distinct conformers, the anti-conformation and the gauche conformation rightmost, below. Both conformations are free of torsional strain, but, in the gauche conformation, the two methyl groups are in closer proximity than the sum of their van der Waals radii. The interaction between the two methyl groups is repulsive van der Waals strain, and an energy barrier results. A measure of the potential energy stored in butane conformers with greater steric hindrance than the anti conformer ground state is given by these values. Gauche conformer 3.8 kJ per mole. Eclipsed H and CH3 16 kJ per mole. Eclipsed CH3 and CH3 19 kJ per mole. The eclipsed methyl groups exert a greater steric strain because of their greater electron density compared to lone hydrogen atoms. The textbook explanation for the existence of the energy maximum for an eclipsed conformation in ethane is steric hindrance, but, with a C-C bond length of 154 pm and a van der Waals radius for hydrogen of 120 pm, the hydrogen atoms in ethane are never in each other's way. The question of whether steric hindrance is responsible for the eclipsed energy maximum is a topic of debate to this day. One alternative to the steric hindrance explanation is based on hyperconjugation as analyzed within the natural bond orbital framework. In the staggered conformation, one CH sigma bonding orbital donates electron density to the antibonding orbital of the other CH bond. The energetic stabilization of this effect is maximized when the two orbitals have maximal overlap, occurring in the staggered conformation. There is no overlap in the eclipsed conformation, leading to a disfavored energy maximum. On the other hand, an analysis within quantitative molecular orbital theory shows that two orbital four electron steric repulsions are dominant over hyperconjugation. A valence bond theory study also emphasizes the importance of steric effects. Topic: <inaudible> Nomenclature. Naming alkanes per standards listed in the IUPAC Gold Book is done according to the Klin Prelog system for specifying angles called either torsional or dihedral angles between substituents around a single bond. A torsion angle between 0 degrees and plus or minus 90 degrees is called sin s. A torsion angle between plus or minus 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called anti a. A torsion angle between 30 degrees and 150 degrees or between minus 30 degrees and minus 150 degrees is called clinal c. A torsion angle between 0 degrees and plus or minus 30 degrees or plus or minus 150 degrees and 180 degrees is called periplanar p. A torsion angle between 0 degrees and plus or minus 30 degrees is called sinperiplanar sp, also called sin or cis conformation. A torsion angle between 30 degrees to 90 degrees and minus 30 degrees to minus 90 degrees is called synclinal sc, also called gauche or skew. A torsion angle between 90 degrees and 150 degrees or minus 90 degrees and minus 150 degrees is called anticlinal ac. 
A torsion angle between plus or minus 150 degrees and 180 degrees is called antiperiplanar app, also called anti or trans conformation torsional strain results from resistance to twisting about a bond. Topic: <laughs> Special cases. In n-pentane, the terminal methyl groups experience additional pentane interference. Replacing hydrogen by fluorine in polytetrafluoroethylene changes the stereochemistry from the zigzag geometry to that of a helix due to electrostatic repulsion of the fluorine atoms in the 1, 3 positions. Evidence for the helix structure in the crystalline state is derived from X-ray crystallography and from NMR spectroscopy and circular dichroism in solution. See also More alkane conformations exist in cyclic alkanes, see cyclohexane conformations. More on the impact of gauche interactions, see gauche effect. <laughs>